to Life Giver Central. Masyadong gumagalaw ang aming likuran ngayon. <laughs> Hello, Life Giver family. Come on. Can I hear a loud clap of praise? Come on. Woo! To the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords. Pastor Gary Galvez in the house welcoming all of you to another life-changing celebration. Yes, I am Nadia Montenegro. Greeting all Life Giver families here and syempre online. Nayan, nako, we are glad to have you all here today. Alam mo ba, Sister Nadia, last Sunday, it was indeed an epic celebration na talagang bumago ng maraming nagpapanggap na Kristiyano dyan. <laughs> Church, if you agree with us, can I get an amen? Amen! And, uh, and pwede mo makisuyo sa lahat ng mga onlineers natin. Flood the comment section with anything that you want to say. Shout out and all the things say in the walls and the praise. Yon ang tindi, Pas. Diba? Since ramdam na ramdam na talaga natin ang presence ng lahat dito sa cinema and online, let's shout out and greet them all. Unahin na natin mag-shout out ang ating mga new friends. Yan, sa mga new friends. Shout out online. to the disciples! Yon! Awesome women! Ayan! Shout out to the Mercado family in the house! Women making history! Ayan! Sa lahat! Ayan! And of course, sa ating mga onlineers dyan, shout out sa inyo dyan. Lagay nyo lang kung taga saan kayo para manalo kayo ng raffle mamaya. Oh. <laughs> May ganun ka ba? Before anything, Life Giver Church wants to invite you every Sunday, 10 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. here at Gateway Mall Cinema 3 and simultaneously via Facebook Live. Join us as we celebrate God's goodness in our lives. Not only that, Sister Naja, we want to encourage everyone to be part of our growing live groups. Yon. Kung wala ka pang live group, kapatid, sumali ka, connect with us, and let's do life together. See you there. Yes, feel pressed by a lot of challenges. Let's fight by praying together. As one family, let's intercede as God intervenes. Let's gather virtually and pray every Saturday at 7 a.m. sa ating prayer words. Wow! Tinatawagan po namin kung ikaw ay life group leader, kung ikaw ay mentor, kung ikaw ay coach this coming July 3 Sunday at 4 p.m. magkakaroon tayo tinatawag na leaders huddle. Yon. Oh, ito ay entitled Resolving Conflict. Of course. Oh, gotcha. Huwag din nating kalimutan ang inaabangan ng lahat pa. Ang Life Giver Central Leaders Camp 2022. Nakaka-excited ah, yan. Woo! Leaders, this is a once in a lifetime event that will really change us. Now join us this July 28, 29 and 30 at the Cali Raya Resorts Club for 4,500 all-in registration fee na po yun. Grabe. And don't worry leaders, we have prepared star cards that can help you and sponsor to raise your 4,500. Yeah, hey. Yan, ang ating star card is available outside for only 10 pesos. Leaders, please don't miss this. For those working, we encourage you to file your leave request as early as now. We are excited to see you there. Register, Register na. na! And that sums up our reminders for today. Now, let's go to our reminders and house rules. Unang una, observe safety protocol at all times. Bring alcohol, don't drink alcohol, and practice hand hygiene as needed. Pangalawa, also maintain a social distance and respect personal space and wear your mask properly. In case of emergency, do not panic, do not run, just go to the nearest exit, exit signs next to you. Yes, and for us to have a meaningful Sunday celebration, ensure that your Bible, pen, and notebook are with you during our service. And most importantly, read your hearts, ready your hearts, and expect the mighty movement of God and learn the power of, of His Word. word. Now, now, let's celebrate God's goodness through, through praise, praise and worship. worship. Let's all stand up and worship, worship the Lord. Lord. Happy, Happy Sunday! Sunday. Happy Sunday. Woo! Kabanata 106 ng Salmo Ang sabi po dito Purihin ninyo ang Panginoon Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo Purihin mo si Lord Okay Mangagpasalamat kayo sa Panginoon Sapagkat siya'y mabuti Sapagkat ang kanyang kagandahang loob
loob ay magpakailan pa man. Walang sawa natin sumbahin at purihin ang ating Panginoon. Amen! Ang tanong, handa na ba kayo? Sabihin ko, uulitin ko Laging magalak sa ating Diyos Uulitin ko, tayo ay magalak sa Diyos
natin ang banal na Espiritu. Come on. Palakpakan natin ang kanyang presensya. Ibubuhos ng Panginoon ang kanyang pagpapala sa umaga ito. Lahat ng may hilinga ay magpupuri sa kanya. Lahat ng may lakas ay sasamba sa kanya. positive things to her or to him. Akbayan mo siya. Ipanalangin mo siya. One minute. Come on. Pray for her. Pray for him. Just declare. 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 Mag-declare ka ng positive things. The Lord is passing by. The Lord is touching our hearts. The Lord is ministering to us today. is our peace. Oh, kumilos ka, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for that revelation. Thank you, Lord God, for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for the answers to all our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for the financial breakthrough. Thank you, Lord God, for the healing from all our sicknesses, oh Lord God. Thank you for the peace in our hearts, oh Lord God. Kahit sa dami ng mga naguguluhan sa mundong ito, Panginoon, Ibigyan mo kami, Lord God, na magkakataon na makaranas kami ng kapayapaan mula sa iyo, Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Sa lahat ng panahon, Diyos ka. Meaning from your heart. Amen, Lord. Panginoong Isus, purihin ka. Nakilay ka sa buhay, Lord. For the last time, di nagbabago. Di nagbabago, Diyos ka.
araw po ito. Palakpakan mo ang iyong Diyos. Palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Amen. Let's all be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, um, worship team, for that powerful worship. Good morning, Life Giver family. I am Ives Galvez from Life Giver Camias. And today, I wanted to share with you how amazing and gracious the Lord is. I have been working for a multinational company for years, and it has a good salary and compensation. But along with that, there is a sales target that is quite impossible to reach. Back in February 2019, when I was tasked to meet 500,000 US dollars in three months, that's 25 million. Nung una, inisip ko, kaya naman siguro to. Hindi ako bibigyan ni Lord pag hindi ko kaya. Then, in March, lockdown happened. Paano ko ta target if lockdown? They did not adjust my target and if hindi ko ma-meet yun, matatanggal ako. Automatic. Feeling ko, meant na tanggalin ako sa work ko. I prayed and gave my all. My performance review came. It was extended from January to June. Six months in short. But guess what? The Lord has provided all that I need and I overcame that challenge. After that, I kept having migraines. Nung una, akala ko migraine lang. Or dahil sa weather. It came to a point na wala akong ginagawa pero pagod na pagod ako. Natutulog ako pero nagigising ako because of the pain. And somehow, my vision was also affected. I had myself checked in August of 2021. Went for an MRI and then I was diagnosed with a pituitary macroagnioma. In short, may tumor ako sa ulo ko. Hindi ako pwedeng maging diabetic. Hindi ako pwedeng maging high blood. Bakit? Kasi I only have one vein in my brain that supplies the blood. If it gets blocked, hindi ako may stroke. Pero automatic shutdown. Bye-bye world. I needed surgery for my tumor. Kasi it's getting big through time. And it may cause me blindness. I never questioned God, why me? But I asked, how will I get over this? I got three different doctor opinions. Siyempre, I had the costing. It's gonna cost me 700,000 pesos to 1 million. And where will I get that? My sister just had her appendicitis surgery in January. And my parents need to pay that in cash. Of course, she also doesn't have medical or life insurance. Tapos ako, dadagdag pa. Even if may savings ako, may HMO ako, it's not enough. My dad is a pastor. My mom is a housewife. And my siblings are still studying. So, paano na? But God reminded me na He is there. Like what the verse in Hebrews 11, 1-3 says, Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for. And assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what is visible. In January, I was scheduled for my surgery. Until after my birthday, I was COVID positive. The delay yung surgery ko, pero at the same time, hindi parin kasi complete yung funds ko. Baka it's God's way of saying na hindi ko na kailangan ng surgery. And then there are people who even prayed with me and prayed for healing and miracle. But after I recovered from COVID, I got an MRI again. And it showed na may tumor grew. February 3, I was admitted. And February 6, I got my surgery. A surgery na hindi na kailangan buksan yung skull ko. Kung hindi pinadaan sa ilong ko. And only a few doctors know how to do that. And I had the best and one of the leading neurosurgeons in the Philippines. Hindi lang yun. There was no complications in my surgery. 
they had the tumor removed 100%. Hindi na durog, walang natira. And higit sa lahat, benign yung tumor ko. Amazing si Lord. Sobra. You know what? Another best part is that hindi ako or yung family ko nahirapan na ilabas ako sa hospital. We were able to pay the doctor's fee in cash and in full. San galing? Siyempre kay Lord. He sent people to help me and my family na hindi namin kailangan mabaon sa utang just to stay healthy. Ang bonus pa doon, pandemic, nagkasakit ako, pero binless ako ni Lord ng bahay. Tapos ko nang bayaran yung down or yung equity and now I am officially waiting for the turnover date ng bahay na kinuha ko. And I always pray kay Lord na may He continue to bless me and my family and also everyone in Life Giver family. So Life Giver, I want to challenge you. What's keeping you from giving? What makes you worry? You know you have a Lord that is there for you. So why is that stopping you from giving? Today, Life Giver, I want to pray for each and every one of you. Can you please hold your envelopes up? And let's all pray together. Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day. Thank you for allowing us to gather here. As we give today, Lord, may the floodgates of heaven open and may we experience your abundance as your children. Lord, I pray for the hearts of each and every one in this room and also the people on the other side of the screen. May you touch their hearts, Lord. May you bless their heart that they may be able to have confidence in giving, to give in full confidence with you, to give cheerfully and wholeheartedly, Father, for them to be able to have faith in you even more bigger than their fears. Bless each and every one in this room and may we all continue to worship you, Father, and give glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. serves. Tatayo po tayong lahat and let's greet five people. Ayan, sabihin mo you look great today. Namiss yung ba yung you look great today na yan? You look great today! You look awesome! Awesome! Limang tao na po ba yan? Kamayan nyo? Baka abutan kayo! Abutan kayo ng... Naku, parang kanina may nag-abot na sa akin. Na, sige lang, sige lang. Baka, <laughs> gusto ko yung may, uh, mag-aabot talaga. No? Sino po rito excited po ngayong umaga po na ito? Can I see your faces? The smile on your faces? Come on. Sige po, taas po natin ang ating mga kamay. Lord, marami pong salamat dahil may gagawin ka. You're faithful, you're good. In all seasons, ang ganda-ganda nung kanta kanina, sa lahat ng panahon, Panginoon, mabuti ka, Lord God, faithful ka, at never mo kaming finail, Panginoon. And today, open our hearts, Panginoon. We are more than ready to receive your word for us. We thank you, we love you. In Jesus' name, and everybody say... Amen! Sige po, habang umuupo ka, tignan mo yung katabi mo, malungkot ba yan o masaya? Uh, alo, eto, malusog na. Sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, bakit parang laki ng dyan go, busog lang po, nag-buffet kagabi. De, four months na po akong pregnant! <laughs> Sa pangalawa kong pong uh, anak, of course, no? Wala pang atlo, wala pang pangalawa. Ayan, God, uh, thank God po dahil uh, talagang... Uh, talagang uh, nakascore na naman si Jean Manuel. <laughs> talagang score siya ng score. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. 
In the, but God is good because the Lord really wants, you know, godly generation. Amen. And ayaw niya mag-stop sa'yo. Sabi mo, ayaw niya mag-stop sa'yo. Ayan. And of course, I would like to welcome all our new friends. Meron ka ba nakikita new faces sa tabi mo? And even online, if it's your first time, hello, welcome po kayo sa Life Giver Church. Amen. And um, sa mga, since it's your first time, gusto ko rin po magpakilala. I'm Pastor Jamie Santiago Manuel. Ayan. I'm uh, the third. Tama ba? Third. Ayan. Pangatlo po akong anak ni Bishop Manny Santiago. Oh, third ba? Sigurado. <laughs> ang hirap. Ang hirap. <laughs> okay, and I believe that the Lord will do something great. Amen. Siguro nagtatanong kayo, bakit nag-preach pa to? Buntis. In all seasons, we will praise the Lord. We will serve God. Amen. Amen. Kaya kung nakikita niyo tumaba, ako wag niyo nang questionin. Dahil buntis po ako. <laughs> Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, may gagawin si Lord. But you know, I, I, I just want to ask you first po, no? Can I ask you a, a question? How are you? Kamusta ka? Tapos biglang umiyak ka. Oh. <laughs> Ikaw lang ang nagtanong sa akin niya. <laughs> For the past month, walang nagtatanong. <laughs> Kamusta ka nga ba? And you know, maybe some of you, you you're waiting for that question. Diba? Na marinig to someone kahit via text or messenger. Kamusta ka? Oh, parang iba yun. Kamusta ka? Oh, diba? How are you after the election? How are you? Kamusta ka pagkatapos itong kabi kabilang pagtaas ng gasolina? Tumataas na bang kilay mo? Ayan. Kamusta ka ngayon na unti-unti mo nang nakukuha lahat ng gusto mo? Sige nga po, ako, nakatutuwa po ako dahil ang dami-daming praise reports, tama po ba, ng ating Life Giver members every Sunday pa lang. Grabe na be tayo sa giving testimonies. Pero, parang nasabi mo na lang isang gabi o isang araw, parang di pa rin ako masaya. Hmm. Parang kulang ata. You know, sa totoo lang po, it is so hard to find joy in difficult times. Tama po ba? Isipin mo ba naman, di ba, nagsama-sama yung mga dala-dala nating alalahanin sa he about health, bills, tapos we feel so unsafe pa po in this, in this world. Tapos sama mo pa yung loneliness na bakit hindi umayon sa pinaglalaban mo ang eleksyon. Loneliness sa bakit Diba, bakit ka dinapuan ng sakit? At loneliness, bakit hindi pa rin tapos ang pandemic? Loneliness dahil hanggang ngayon, diba, hindi, mo, hindi pa rin namimit ng mga anak mo ang expectations mo. Are you still here? O loneliness na bakit hanggang ngayon, single ka pa rin? Bakit pag mga single, ang dami nagre-react? Sino po ba rito yung talagang, ano na sila, bansa na sila? Sabi nga ni Bishop last week, di ba? Ang mga single dito, bansana. Hindi na sila tribe. <laughs> di ba? Hindi na lang sila city. Naging bansana po kayo. But I cut that in Jesus' name. Amen. Di ba? But you know, despite all this, do you know that God wants us to find joy during difficult times? Sino po rito gusto po na maging joyful kahit may pinagdadaanan siyang hindi maganda ngayon? Taas ang kamay, sumigaw ng Amen. But wait, Pastor Jamie, is that possible? Posible ba yan? Parang ang hirap naman maging joyful sa gitna ng problema. Isipin mo, may sakit anak mo, dapat baka masaya ka. Diba? May kilala ko, poker face lang siya. How are you? Masaya ka ba? Masaya ko, Pas. Yung sayo mo, grabe. Masaya po ako. May mga ano ba kayo nakita? Nung masaya sila, pero hindi sila mukhang masaya? Tinan mo katabi mo. Pambihira. <laughs> You know, if you are feeling po that feeling, I want you to know that hindi ka nag-iisa. Halos lahat po tayo dito naka, nakaramdam, nakakaramdam po niyan. But let this message answer all those loneliness that we are feeling right now. Today, we will talk about unspeakable joy. Parang hindi kayo masaya. Again, unspeakable joy. Finding joy amidst difficult times. Totoo lang, napakahirap po maging masaya or maging joyful sa gitna ng hardships or trials. Pero ngayon, tuturuan po tayo ng Panginoon. Amen? 
So let's let us first know po the difference okay of ha- of happiness and joy. May pagkakaiba pala ito, no? Now happiness po is on the face. Sino mo katabi mo? <laughs> Pero yung love niyan. Iyak <laughs> na, ba? Diba? It is on the face, but joy is in the heart. Happiness is just for a moment, but joy is of the soul and it, it is continuous. Happiness is a reaction, okay, of happy moments. Uy, kami may grab delivery ako, ang saya. Diba? Sana always. Diba? But joy transcends and surpasses difficult and hard times. Happiness doesn't bring joy and joy isn't joy isn't the byproduct of happiness. So knowing this what is joy? Joy po is something grander grander than than happiness because it is the realization of God's favor and grace in one's life. Wow. So hindi lang pala dapat happy, dapat joyful. Pag joyful ka, it means na iintindihan mo na yung favor at grace ng Panginoon sa yung buhay. Come on, say it. God's grace and favor. Amen. Diba? Meaning, diba? You internalize something from God that is beyond this human mind can conceive. Ayun na, naiintindihan mo na. Diba? Ah, okay. Hindi lang pala to dapat sa mukha lang. Pero nararamdaman ng puso. Naiintindihan mo na yung pabor at yung grasya ng Panginoon sa iyong buhay. Kaya pala kahit hindi maganda sitwasyon mo, nasaya yung puso mo. So lumalabas po, happiness is when you find a high-paying high job. Very good. Diba? Happiness is when you your baby is born. Happiness is when you you receive a grab de- delivery. Parang paulit-ulit ako sa grab delivery. Parang ano meron doon, no? Okay. Happiness is based on happenings. Happiness is based on happenings. But joy is far more than this. You know? A joyful person po, again, has God's favor and grace. It is having having comfort inside your heart even in the middle of an unsafe world. So lumalabas, joy is when you have peace kahit nawalan ka ng trabaho. Oh. Joy is hindi yung panghugas mo ng pinggan ha. Okay? But joy is yung may galak pa din ang puso mo kahit wala kang pera. <laughs> ang sayo ko, bakit? Grabe, naglakad ako pa po church. Bakit nakawan ako? Wala ka na akong pera. <laughs> Parang iba naman yun. Parang may ganon. Okay. Pero, di ba masaya ka? Kasi alam mo, ibabalik ni Lord yon Siksik, liglig at umaapaw. Ano nangyari kay Bessie? Tama po ba yun? Di ba? Binalik ni Lord four times. Sino na po rito ang excited, taas ang kamay, ngiti mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, joy, joy, joy. Ganun po, may hininga dapat, joy, joy, joy. Ganun. Okay, dapat, dapat masaya lahat, hindi malungkot, ha? Okay po ba yun? Excited na po ba ang lahat? Okay, kung excited ka, comment down sa mga nasa online, I'm excited. At kung excited ka dito sa physical, sabi mo, I'm excited. Uh-oh. Alam niyo po, we need to know po muna, no, what does the Bible say about joy? And in Galatians chapter 5, okay, sa Galatians chapter 5 po, may dalawang klase po ng tao na nakita po natin dito. Number one po, o letter A is a person directed by the flesh. Okay? So makikita po natin dyan, naka-underline ano-ano ang mga characteristics ng isang tao na nakabase na lamang siya sa flesh. Kita po natin dyan, pero hindi ko na po babasahin. At ang result po nito are people living in flesh, people living in flesh will never inherit the kingdom of God. Nilagay na, nakaduktong po sa dulo yun. I, I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But pangalawa pong klase ng tao na nakita po natin in Galatians chapter 5 is a person directed by the Holy Spirit. 
Anong klase po ng tao ito? In Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 24, sabi niya dito, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit or the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, jo- uh, God, uh, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Verse 24, those who belong to Christ, okay, have crucified the flesh with its passion and desires. So, two kinds of people, okay, na nakita po natin, a person directed by the flesh, and second, a person directed by the Holy Spirit. So, lumalabas, sabi niya, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy. Joy. <laughs> so, lumalabas po, no, that joy is not just a feeling. Joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Sino po rito nag-life retreat na at nakaranas po ng, ng, ng encounter sa banal na spirito? Sumigaw po ngayon. Do you remember your life retreat encounter with the Lord? Grabe, puspos tayo lahat ng banal na spirito. At na, ma, maaalala ninyo, parate sinasabi ng nagmi-minister, receive the gift and the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Iniisa-isa niya yan parate. Love. Tapos hindi, hindi pwedeng mawala ang spirit of joy. Oh. Ibig sabihin po again, joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Hindi lang siya yung panghugas ng pinggan mo. It is the main product. One of the main products po of the Holy Spirit. Tapos malungkutin ka, Christian ka. Pag pumasok ka sa church, nakamask, nakamask ka na nga, no? Mata na lang nga nakikita sa iyo. Di pa makita yung glory ni Lord? Ang lungkot-lungkot mo pa. So meaning, joy, it can be developed and received as, as you being led or filled with the Holy Spirit. At posible po ang joy when the cross is the total object of our faith. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, posible ang joy. Flesh could not, could never, could never produce joy. But a spirit-filled life is a joyful life. Kaya pa si mo, may mga tao o Christians, pag pumasok sila sa kwarto, or sa, sa, sa office, or sa, sa, sa church, Hi! Hindi ko alam bakit ganyan. Si Pastor Gary, parang ganyan siya. Diba? Pag pumasok siya, Hey bro, what's up? What's up, what's up, homie? Kay Josiah, kay homie. Diba may mga tao, may mga klase ng tao na ganun. Pag pumasok sila sa kwarto, the atmosphere changes. They have joy in their hearts. Tapos kahit malungkot yung kwarto, malungkot, kunyari pumasok ka sa life group, parang lahat malungkot. Pag pumasok ka, nagkaka-joy. Kasi nag-giveaway ka ng joy. Tissue, joke lang ganyan. Diba? A person living in the flesh or a person living in the spirit? This is the question. Anong klaseng tao ka? Are you a person living in the flesh or are you a person living in the spirit? Because if you are a person living in the spirit, you have joy! Hindi ako galit. Masaya ako dun. Okay. Isa po sa indication that a person is living in the spirit has the spirit of joy. Ito po ah, pag fleshy ka, maaring, sorry for the word, pero maaring malungkutin ka. Bakit? Minimeditate mo yung emotions mo. Minimeditate mo lahat ng hapdikirot. Sakit na dinulot. Ay, kanta pala yun. Log mo ka barate, ina-analyze mo paano ka nasaktan. Ina-analyze mo, ina-analyze mo paano ka iniwan. Ina-analyze mo paano nangyari ang mga bagay. Tapos apektado na yung buong araw mo. Apektado na rin mga tao sa paligid mo. Alam mo na, alala ko, di ko makakalimutan to. Bumili ako sa isang pharmacy. Pagpasok ko, di ba, ano siya, magta-type siya ng ganyan, no? Pharmacist. Siyempre, sa pharmacy, no? So, type siya, ah, pwede pa, mayroon po ba kayong itong klase ng gamot? Wala. 
Eh, yung gato pong klaseng gamot, wala din. Eh, yung gato pong klaseng gamot, wala. Sabi ko pong bino mo. Sorry, pero yung flash ko, sinabi, pumasok ka pa, diba? Parang, hindi ka pala masaya. Feeling ko broken hearted. So, isipin mo, ha, damay pati yung client. Dama yung mga taong hindi dapat madamay sa kalungkutan mo. Sabi ko na lang, you know, miss, God bless you. So, malis na ako. Lumipat na lang ako sa, ng iba. Kaya sabi ko, krabi, ramdam na ramdam ko yung, yung kalungkutan niya. Are you here? Meron ba kayong ganung naaalalang mga tao? Ang lungkot na lungkot? Are you here? Diba? Nakakalungkot ang taong malungkot. And some of you would say, eh, tao lang ako, pastora, you know, I'm just a human being. Wow. May ganun ka pang drama. Well, pra- wala pong problema sa pagiging tao kasi lahat po tayo tao, may emosyon tayo. Kailangan mo i-feel yung emosyon na yan, pero please lang, wag kang magtagal. Yung iba tumambay na three years after. Five years, ten years after. Pagkakita sa kanya, malungkot pa rin siya. Oh, very good na champion mo, ha? Diba? Because why? Tama naman tao ka lang. Yung excuse natin, tao lang naman ako. Kailangan ko ma-feel ito. But I want to remind you that you are representing Christ in this world. At hindi ka na ordinaryong tao lang. You are a life giver. It means you are giving life. And even your atmosphere, pagpasok mo, it changes. Because why? You have Jesus in your life. Our goal as believers is to bring light and hope in this world, not to bring sadness and loneliness in this lonely world. Malungkot na nga yung mundo. Dumagdag ka pa. Galing mo talaga. Very good ka dyan. Are you here? Are you excited? Are you ready? Sabi mo, I'm ready. Sabi mo, I'm excited. Ganun na mo yung katabi mo. Sabi mo, okay, good na ako. Game na ako. Let's go to our main text. Hindi pa pala yun yung main text, no? In 1 Peter chapter 6, no? 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 to 9. Basahin po natin sabay-sabay. Sabi niya doon, sige, 1, 2, 3, go. In all this, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. This have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire. Sino rito refined by fire? Talaga dumaan sa apoy. Yung, yung pandemic, dumaan tayo lahat sa apoy. Though we are refined by fire, alam niyo po, result may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen Him, you loved Him. Sino po rito gano'n? Hindi mo po nakikita si Lord face to face, pero mahal na mahal mo na siya. Sino rito yung may gano'n sa love life? Hindi mo ba siya nakikita? Ang tagal ah. Hello? Pero mahal na kita. Diba? Gano'n si John Manuel, hindi mo pa nakikita. Parang mahal na kita. Diba? Kasi God's best mo eh. Diba? But here, hindi po yun yung point. <laughs> hindi love life. Pero balik tayo sa verse. Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And even though you do not see Him now, you believe in Him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. Wow! You are receiving, ano pong receive natin? The end result of your faith. The salvation of your soul. Let's give God the best clap offering for the reading of His Word. Thank you, Jesus. Grabe, ulam na, no? Yung verse pa lang, ulam na. Just to give you a little background po, pre- Peter po is writing a letter po to Christians na na-dispersed po throughout Asia Minor or Asia Minor, which is modern key, okay, or modern day Turkey. Ito po yung mga Roman Christians from Rome na pumunta doon po. Maybe because of Emperor Claudius o Cla- Claudius. Recipients are Christ- uh, dito ang recipients po dito are Christians chosen by God. So they are carrying on their calling. But the situation was Christians were all persecuted. Sino rito na persecute na? God bless you. 
Sila persecuted and imagine this, the culture in which they lived scorned their faith. They were criticized. Moralidad po nila na criticize and you know na mock po sila. They've been mocked. Bless po tayo hindi po natin yan naranasan. Kaya sinulat po ni Peter ito, it is to encourage Christians to view the accusations and unfair treatment as an opportunity to bear witness to Jesus Christ. So persecuted sila, they're having hard times. Po Paul, bakit si Paul? Okay, series pala natin yun. But Peter encourages encourage them to be faithful and joyful amidst difficult times. Sinawag pa nga po ni Peter na fiery, fiery trials. So sabi niya, maging faithful pa din kayo, ha? Maging joyful pa din kayo, ha? Bear witnesses of God's grace, ha? Kahit ano pang hirap ang nararanasan niyo. Kung ilalagay ka kaya sa settings or situation na ito, kakayanin mo kaya. So today, let's answer the question, how can we have unspeakable joy in our hearts amidst difficult times? Sabi po ng Miriam Dictionary, unspeakable po means incapable of expressing or expressed in words. Hindi mo na masabi. <gasps> Diba, may mga ganun ka bang na-experience sa buhay mo na, kamusta yung life retreat mo? Grabe po. Alam mo yun? Di ko na alam. Anong iba yun? Di ko ma- mas- ma- ma-explain. Grabe. Naranasan ko si Lord. Tapos, hmm. tapos, yun na yun. Hindi mo na ma-describe, hindi mo na ma-explain, basta ramdam mo sa puso mo na joyful ka. Sino rito nakakaramdam po niyan ngayon? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, parang nararamdaman ko yan. Ay, parang walang nagsabi. Ulitin mo, parang sabi mo, nararamdaman ko yan. So ano po nakita natin sa verse na ito? Dalawang bagay lang po, tas tapos na po ako. Una po, that unspeakable joy will give you the ability to rejoice during difficult times. Wow. Grabe. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6, it says, In all this, you greatly rejoice. Though now for a little while, okay, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of of trial. Sabi niya dito, in all this, sa lahat ng nararanasan mo, yung kanta kanina, sa lahat ng panahon. Sabi ng Panginoon, di ba? Though now for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. So meaning, okay, sabi ng Lord, sa lahat ng panahon, maaari kang Mag-rejoice. Kanta rin pala kanina yun, no? Ang galing po, no? Rejoice, pero Tagalog version. Ano po yung Tagalog? Magalak? Magalak. Na, 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 na. Diba? Ang ganda nung kanta. At alam niyo po ba, yung Greek word po ng rejoice is agalio. Meaning, to jump for joy. And imagine this po, the culture again, in their settings po, talagang, talagang tinetes, Criticize me na maxila, but Peter again encourages them. Come on, faith on, joy on amidst difficult times. So lumalabas, sure po na may suffering. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, sure na may sufferings, sure na may grief, sure na may trials. Pero sure din na sasaya ka. Sure din na may joy. Sure then na magre-rejoice ka pagkatapos. So is it possible to be joyful during difficult times? Sabi mo nga, yes. Posible na kahit nasa gitna ka ng trials. Are you still here? Joyful ka. Dahil alam mong hindi ito magtatagal. Sabi ng verse, sabi niya, balikan natin, though 
now, sabi niya, though now, for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. So, sinabi niya mismo, for a little while. Ibig sabihin, ang sufferings hindi magtatagal. Hindi ito habang buhay, ito po ay may hangganan. Nagka-COVID ang isa sa pamilya mo, hindi ito magtatagal at gagaling siya. Amen. Wala kang pambayad ng bills mo. Hindi ito magtatagal at makakabayad ka din. <laughs> Nawalan ka ng trabaho. Sino mo rito nawala ng trabaho during pandemic? Hindi rin magtatagal yan dahil magkakaroon ka ulit ng trabaho. Tutuwa po ako ngayon sa mga mentis ko rin. Mga nawala ng trabaho pero nung nakaanap ng trabaho, pinromote pa ni Lord. Yun, yun eh. Diba? Ito pa. Single ka pa rin hanggang ngayon. Hindi yan magtatagal. Amen, Coach May. Amen, Ate Dayan. <laughs> Drop names na dito. No? <laughs> diba? Hindi yan magtatagal. So rejoice! Be joyful! Maggalak ka! Ano pong lesson? Ang problema, hindi magtatagal. Kaya wag mong tambayan, please lang. Pangalawa pong lesson, at kung sakaling dumadaan ka sa matinding trials ngayon, maggalak ka dahil hindi yan forever. Talakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Walang forever sa trials! Amen! Pangalawa, una pa, ano po yung point number one natin? The ability to rejoice during crucial moments. And pangalawa po, unspeakable joy wants to pursue two things. Mabilis po ito. Letter A. Ano po yung gusto niyang i-pursue sa'yo? Anong gusto niyang kunin? Una po is joyous faith. Sabi mo nga, joyous faith. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 7a, B, A to B, sabi niya, This have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold which perishes even though refined by fire. I want you to know this po, that all faith is tested and great faith must be tested greatly. Sabi, na, sabi mo, Lord, bakit ganun, Pastora? Nung simula, nung naging Christian ako, dumami yung problema ko. Akala ko ba, mahal ako ni Lord? Sino po rito nagtanong nun? Ba't ganun? Dumami yung problema ko. I want you to know this, all faith is tested. And great faith must be tested greatly. Great yung faith mo, matindi yung faith mo, itetest din ni Lord yan greatly. Testing of faith is to show if your faith is genuine or not. So in this Christian life, sabi mo, ba't ganun ang daming testing? Itetest ni Lord kung totoo ba yung pananampalataya mo sa Kanya. Kung even though pandemic, walang pandemic, may jowa o wala? The, end, the question is, are you faithful? Is our faith cross-focused or emotion-focused? Cross-focused or emotion-focused? Testing here po is a great preparation for the coming of Jesus Christ. Kaya pala may, may testing kasi ipe-prepare ka sa pagbabalik ng Panginoon. Kung walang testing of faith, hindi ka magiging handa sa pagbabalik ng Panginoong Yeso Kristo. So, mas magandang handa. So, mas magandang matest. Kasi paglabas mo doon, ginto ka. Amen! Lahat ng faith po ay susubukin. Tinan mo katabi mo yung faith mo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo yung faith mo, susubukin! Pero hindi lahat din ng faith papasa. Kaya sana yung faith na meron ka at yung faith, okay, anong uri man ng faith ang meron ka, sana please lang po maipasa mo. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Unang-una, di ba? Siguro maybe sa mga view, again, kanina nasabi ko na bakit simula nung naging Christian ako, biglang nagsunod-sunod ang problema. Well, unang-una po, wag mo rin naman kalimutan na may aftermath or consequences yung mga maling nagawa natin noon. Naalala nyo, example, puro utang ka nung hindi mo pakilala si Lord. 
Pinatawad ka ni Lord, tama. Nag-life retreat ka, very good. Pero ngayon na Christian ka, pinagahabol ka ng may mga nang meron kang utang. At kaya naman, simula nag-Christian ako, pinagahabol ka ng mga may, may utang ako. Diba? Eh, ganun talaga. Kasi may effect ang maling nagawa natin before. At kailangan nating harapin yun. Huwag mong takasan. Pero pangalawa, maaari dumadaan ka din dyan dahil tinetest ni Lord ang kapit mo sa kanya. Sa jeep. Sa jeep po, pag sumakay tayong ganyan, diba? all the more na mauga, all the more na malakas yung brake ng, ng driver, anong gagawin mo? Ayos ba yung blockings ko? Kumakapit ka lalo. O, huwag na lang sa jeep, sa kotse. Makasitbog na ba ako? Bakit? The more na sinishake ka, the more na kumakapit ka. Yung iba, the more sinishake, the more nagwawala. Dapat hindi tayo ganon. The more sinishake ka ni Lord, the more na hindi ka nagpapatinag. The more that you overcome. Amen. So, ang tanong, magpapatinag ka ba? As Christians, hindi na dapat tayo nagugulat pag may mga dumarating na testings. Hi! <laughs> Nagulat ka, hi! Taas ng pitch! May testings! Isa naman, grabe! Talagang favorite ako ng trials. Talaga naman, favorite. Talagang nakaline up sila. Grabe talaga si Lord, di ba? Nagugulat pa tayo pag may testings, nagugulat tayo pag may problema. Or nagugulat tayo pag may, may, may difficulty sa ating buhay? I want you to know, please lang po, huwag ka na magulat. Tanong mo sa akin, bakit? Nakasa mo naman parang pangit. Nag-ayos pa naman ako. Sabi niyo po, bakit? Kasi opportunity yan para mas lalo kang lumago at maipakita mo na malakas ang kapit mo sa Diyos. Dinuktong pa niya in, uh, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7, sabi niya doon, They have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, ibig sabihin yung pananampalatayang totoo at ubod ng galak, joyous faith nga eh. Sabi niya, of greater worth than gold. Ibig sabihin yung napatunayan ng faith mo na mas worth it ito kesa sa kahit anong gold. O kahit anong yaman sa mundo. Are you still here? Which, which perishes even though refined by fire. Ano po result? It may result in praises, in glory, in honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Yung joy mo, hindi lang ikaw ang magbe-benefit. Yung joy mo, hindi lang yung paligid mo ang magbe-benefit. Pero ang, ang joy mo, magre-resulta po ito na maitaas ang Diyos sa iyong buhay. Amazing. The end goal of trials is makita si Jesus. It is to prepare us. It is to be, for us to be prepared by the Holy Spirit as fit. Subjects for the appearing of our Lord. My testing to prepare me for the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ. My trials it is to prepare me for the coming of Jesus Christ. So ano pong lesson? Lam niyo po higit sa kahit anong yaman sa mundo ang pananam palatayang ubod ng galak. May faith ka pa? Please lang po lagay mo ng joy, joyous faith. Pangalawang lesson, ang trials mo ay matinding preparation sa pagharap mo sa Panginoon. Kaya kapitan at pagtagumpayan mo, wag mong kainisan. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please lang, kapitan mo yan. Pagtagumpayan mo yan. Pero wag mong kainisan yan. And, and lastly po, lesson, ang end goal ng trials ay hindi ka para maging monster, pero para makita si Jesus sa iyong buhay. So please lang po, please lang po. Alam niyo po ba ang pandemic na to ay matinding testing po sa lahat ng Christian? Kung nagpatuloy ka, congratulations, napasa mo. 
Pero kung medyo nanghina ka, may pagkakataon ka pa ngayon para mag-bounce back, please lang po. Pagtagumpayan natin ang testings. Have joyous faith in our hearts. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Pangalawa, ano po ang ipinipursu ng joy sa atin? Letter B is joyous love. Sabi mga love, love, love. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 8 to 9, Though you have not seen Him, you have loved Him. And even though you do not see Him now, you believed in Him and are filled with an inexpressible joy or uh, inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Alam niyo po, listen up. We haven't seen the Lord. Tama po ba? Face to face. But the Holy Spirit has made Him real in our hearts. Tama po ba yun? Diba? Kahit hindi mo pa literal, hindi mo pa literal nakikita ang Diyos face to face. Huwag na muna. Tama po ba? Makikita lang natin siya pag, diba? Alam na natin. Pero huwag muna ngayon. Diba? Pero naniniwala ka, nagagalak ka at mahal na mahal mo siya, you're blessed. Kung ngayon pa lang, kahit di mo pa siya nakikita face to face, eh mahal na mahal mo na siya. In verse 9, ano po resulta? Ito pong result. For you are receiving the end result of your faith. Ano, ano daw po ito? The salvation of your souls. Si Pimon, naging joyful ka, nakareceive ka pa ng salvation. <laughs> the result is salvation. May kaligtasan lalo sa mga anak ng Diyos na may joy. At kayang pagtagumpayan ang bawat problema ang kinakaharap at haharapin niya. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. Alam niyo po, ang totoong, pag, ang totoong nagmamahal kahit nahihirapan niya, nagpapatuloy yan. Sa isang relasyon, kahit ano pang topak ng asawa mo, dahil mahal mo yan, pagsatsagaan mo yan, tama po ba? Wala eh, nagmamahal ka na. Sa discipleship, kahit ilang ulit ang sablay ng mente mo, pag bumalik sa iyo yan, yayakapin mo yan. Kagabayan mo yan dahil mahal mo. At genuine na yung pagmamahal mo. At masaya ka sa pagmamahal mo. Tama po ba? Sa ministry, kahit ano pa ang makita mong topak ng kapatid mo in Christ. Parang may nagwoo sa Asher team. Dahil nagmamahal ka na, you will learn how to overlook offenses. Forgive. Ang Panginoon, kahit hindi mo pa literal nakikita, face to face, grabe na ang pagmamahal mo. Sabi ng Diyos, anak, may reward sa iyo. The salvation of your soul. Kaya pinagpapala ang isang taong may joy. Dahil matututunan na rin niyang magmahal ng totoo. Palakpakan po natin ang Diyos. Ano pong lessons mas mahalin ang Diyos kahit hindi mo pa siya face to face na nakikita dahil ang reward ay eternal life. Wow. Pangalawang lesson, pag nagsimula kang magmahal ng totoo, doon ka na totoong maliligtas. Ooh. Ooh. Genuine love, genuine salvation. Pangatlo, lesson, mahalin ang Diyos habang may buhay. At bibigyan ka niya ng buhay na punong-puno ng kagalakan. Palakpakan po natin ng Diyos. Can I invite the keyboardist, please? Let me end with this story of Alan Gardiner. Meron po akong picture. This is Alan Gardiner po, no? Hindi po siya hardinero. Gardiner lang po talaga ang apelido niya. Sino po rito mahilig sa missions? Diba? Or galaan na lang. Sige, galaan. Travel. Travel goals. Gustong-gustong lumabas. Gustong-gustong, di ba, um, um, mag-travel. But you know, si Alan Gardiner po, gustong-gusto niya mag-missions. He would go to places to share the love of Christ. Pag mission trips, lahat tayo excited. Tama po ba? Di ba? Lahat ng comfort na, ngayon, pag nag-mission ka, lahat ng comfort na mararanasan mo, kami po, pumunta po kami sa Life Giver Regina, Canada. Lahat po ng comfort, naranasan ko po sa church po natin sa Canada. Grabe, pagbukas ko ng ref, punong-puno ng pagkain. Sa kabila nun may cabinet, papunong-puno rin ng pagkain. Kung sarap pala mag-missions. 
Pag uwi ko pa talagang hatid sundo, sagot nila yung 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 pamasahe namin. Sabi ko, saan ka po nakakita na pumunta ka ng Canada, nilibre ka pa? Grabe po missions ngayon. Sa Life Giver, um, lahat gusto niyo mag-mission. So. Umunta kami sa Mubara, Japan po. Nandun po si Pastor Nari. Grabe po mga members natin. Talagang mapagmahal, generous. Pero hindi po yun ang naranasin ni Alan Gardiner. During Alan Gardiner's time, hindi po madali. Pag sinabing mission trip, it will take them maybe months or years to travel. Alam naman po natin ang travel noon. At alam nyo ba, during Alan Gardiner's mission trip, they encountered shipwreck. Shipwreck. Nasira po yung sinasakyan nilang bar- barko or bangka. They encountered a shipwreck. And survival po yun. Walang rescue, walang kuryente, walang cellphone, walang pagkain, walang inumen. At alam niyo po, habang sa kanyang huling hininga, in 1851, namatay po si Gardiner at the age of 57 while serving the Lord. Alam niyo po nangyari? Nung nakita po ang katawan niya, andun po sa tabi yung journal niya or diary. Isunulat niya doon ang lahat ng kanyang naranasan during that shipwreck moment or season. Nirecord niya ang lahat ng gutom niya, lahat ng pagod niya, lahat ng uhaw niya. Pero wala kang ni isang nakitang reklamo. Sa last words in his journal, makikita daw natin dito, makita natin dito, Yung struggle niya sa pagsusulat. Kitang-kita yung panginginig sa kanyang mga kamay, sa kanyang handwriting. At alam niyo po ba ang ending phrase niya? Ganito po. Pakita po natin. I am overwhelmed with a sense of the goodness of God. Malakpakan po natin ang Diyos. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pwede po po malakpak. I am overwhelmed with a sense of the goodness of God that even though I am facing this trial, Lord, ba't ganun? Mag-serve naman ako sa'yo. Papunta na ako sa mission trip. Ang ganda-ganda ng expectation ng pupuntahan ko. Pero bakit ako naka-enkwentro ng shipwreck? Sa journal niya, sa diary niya, wala kang nakitang ni isang pagre-reklamo. Lord, ba't ganun? Mahal naman kita. Ba't mo ginawa to? Lord, mahal naman kita. Bakit nagkaganito yung buhay ko? Lord, mahal naman kita. Bakit nagkasakit yung nanay ko? Bakit nagkasakit yung tatay ko? Bakit hanggang ngayon, di pa rin nila kilala si Lord. Ang hirap-hirap naman, Lord, maging Christian. But you know, si Gardiner po, even in his worst distress, he is joyful. Amid trials, he still praises the Lord. Sana po isang araw, kung makakaranas ka, ng matinding trials sa buhay mo, ang makikita sa journal mo is this, I am overwhelmed with the sense that the Lord is good. I am overwhelmed and I am so happy because the Lord is good and His love endures forever. Palakpakan po natin ang Diyos. Tatayo po tayo lahat. Thank you, Jesus. And let's worship the Lord and let's invite His presence in our midst today. He is here. Ramdam na ramdam ni Lord. Ramdam na ramdam po natin ang Panginoon ngayon. Sa lahat ng panahon Yes, Jesus. Diyos ka sa amin Sa lahat ng oras Nariyang para sa Panginoong Yesus, purihin ka. Dakilain ka sa buhay ko. Let's worship the Lord. Come on. Sa lahat ng parahon, Diyos ka sa amin. Sa lahat ng oras, nariyang para sa Panginoong Yesus, purihin ka. Takilain ka sa buhay ko. Yaraba, 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 yaraba. You are good. You are faithful, Lord. 
hindi namin nakikita ang maganda ang sitwasyon, mabuti ka, dakilain ka, itaas ang pangalan mo. Kahit hindi namin maintindihan bakit nangyayari ang lahat ng bagay na ito, purihin ka, itaas ka, dahil mabuti ka. Alam mo ang ginagawa mo. So here's the question, Problemado ka ba? Lumadaan ka ba sa matinding trials ngayon? Bago ka pumunta sa church, you're about to give up. Say this, I am overwhelmed with the sense of the goodness of God. Ang pangit ng sitwasyon mo, say this, I am overwhelmed with the sense of the goodness of God. Pakiramdam mo, iniwan ka ng lahat. Say this, overwhelmed with a sense of the goodness of God. You know, trials can make us bitter or better. Many of us fail kasi nagpa-focus tayo sa letter I. Sarili natin. Pero pansin nyo, isang letter lang ang ipapalit mo sa bitter para ikaw ay maging better. Kaso sa letter I, minsan doon tayo focus the trinity of yourself me, myself and I ako to kaya ko to ako lang magsasolve ng problema ko hindi ko kailangan ng Diyos hindi ko kailangan ng ibang tao ako lang to, kaya ko to alam mo niwala ka hindi mo kakayanin mag-isa kailangan mo ang Diyos instead sa isang ay ka mag-focus palitan natin ng yung I from ng I ng better to E palitan mo ng eyes literal focus your eyes on Jesus because Jesus is the finisher and the perfecter of your faith just like Alan Gardiner he fixed his eyes on Jesus why not today let us fix and focus our eyes on Jesus alam ko Makakaya na mo lahat ng pagsubok with a joyful heart because you are with the Lord. Let's sing this song once again. give you the ability to rejoice during crucial times receive that in your heart today second unspeakable joy wants you to pursue joyous faith faith on faith on faith on during the trials faith on during those difficulties and second joyous love the more na mahirap the more magmahal the more na may trials the more magmahal it is Receive that joy in your heart today. Say this at the count of three. I receive one, two, three. Receive it by faith. In Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Palakpakan mo ang Diyos. Yakapan mo yung katabi mo. Sabihin mo, joyous faith, joyous love. God bless you.
Thank you, Pastor Jamie, for the very powerful and anointed preaching of God's Word today. Salamat po. Indeed, we are so overwhelmed by the goodness of God. Sino pong nabilis? Lahat po. Lahat, di ba? Praise God. Ngayon po ay i-welcome po natin ang ating mga guests and new friends. Kung tinawag ko po ang iyong pangalan, pwede po. Ang request po namin kayo na tumayo. Si Liberty Delengensha. Okay. Invited by Rema de los Santos. Si Mario Sanchez Jr. Invited by Coach Rachel Yarnat. And Hilary Alexis Moog. Invited by Maria Fernancia Lobo. Sino? Nasaan po sila? Hindi ko po kayo makita. Tayo po kayo? Ayan. Ayan. Uh, in- in- Pumunta lang po kayo sa right side ng cinema, sa kanan po ninyo. And I'm requesting also yung kanilang mga mentors and life group leaders to join them sa connect, connect area. Ayan, palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon para sa kanila. Alam niyo po, sabi sa salita ng Panginoon, There is more joy in heaven when one person returns to God and repents of his sin. Amen po. Kaya po, tatlo po kayo, napakabuti ho ng Panginoon sa inyo. Mahal na mahal kayo. Alam niyo po, dati nandyan din kami, pero nanalangin po, nilid po kami ng aming mga kaibigan, mahal sa buhay, na kilala sa Panginoon. And I am here to lead you in one prayer that will change your life. Amen. Yung joy na naranasan po namin ngayon, siguro nakikita nyo, parang mga baliuto. Sumasayo, kumakanta, nag-aamen. Dahil po, sa isang prayer na ito. Amen po ba? So, can you just close your eyes? And say this prayer po. Jesus, I need you. I admit that I am a sinner. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Change me. I believe in you and what you have done for me. Thank you. Jesus, starting today, I will make you the Lord of my life. I will make you my Savior. I will love you, serve you, and follow you from this day onwards. Amen and amen. Palapakan po natin sila. Welcome. Calling po si Pastor Jamie for the benediction. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Roma. Tatayo po tayong lahat. Sabihin nga po natin sabay-sabay, I am overwhelmed with a sense of the goodness of God. One, two, three, go. Sense of the goodness of God. Sino po rito uuwa ng uuwa? <laughs> Uuwi ng may galak sa puso. Hindi na magiging malungkutin. Makikita ang glory ng Diyos sa kanyang muka. Taas mo ang kamay mo if you want to receive that. Today, you're blessed in the name of Jesus. In the Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. Bless joyous faith and joyous love. Be joyful in the name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. God bless everyone. See you next week. Bring a friend. God bless you all po. Ingat po sa pag-uwi.